You know, when this guy ended up undrafted from a great uh, Q career, it was kind of a head-scratcher. And when he excelled in minor pro and major pro and eventually came into the Maritimes to play senior hockey, mostly for Capoli and Charlottetown, uh, people said this is a well-rounded career. This is a great player. It's too bad the NHL teams would have had, had more faith in him when he was available. So today we're going to be talking about the curious case of Yves Belanger, now 5'11", 170, from Bay Cabo, Quebec. Uh, started uh, his major junior career in the in the queue with the Sherbrooke Castell. Now over three seasons, he averaged uh, 43 uh, games a campaign, put up some decent numbers, uh, especially his last uh, year where he had a 4.9 average, uh, two shutouts and 2,300 uh, minutes played. Now, eventually he remained unsigned. He started playing with the Syracuse Blazers of the EHL in 73, then graduated to the Jacksonville Barons of the uh, AHL 17, 27, and 4 with a 4.15 average. Now, he eventually ended up in the St. Louis program, played 11 games with the Blues in his unofficial, not say rookie campaign, but first season, 6 3 and 2 with a 2.72 record, and also skated with the Denver Spurs that year, 19 13 and 3. Now, 76, he was mostly uh, the backup for St. Louis Blues, 11 17 and 1 in uh, 30, uh, 31 games. 76, he, uh, he also played with the Providence Reds with a 3-4-3 uh, and three record. Now 77, again with the Blues, 2-0 and oh and 3 starts, but uh, the majority season in the minors, he played in Kansas City, 24-4-4 four and four, uh, record. Now, 78, a very interesting campaign. He played three games with the Blues, lost all three, eventually found his way to Atlanta, uh, and of course, his port shift to Calgary, 7-8 and in 17 uh, games. He also played that season with the South Lake Golden Eagles of the CHL with a 5-3 and three record. 79, he went 1-2 and two in 5 games with the Flames, but played the majority of the season with the Philadelphia Firebirds of the AHL 4-14-1. Now, in 1980, split time between the Boston Bruins, where he went 2-1-3 in eight games, and the Big Game Dusters uh, of the AHL with a 7-13-1 record. Now, this is where his career uh, took a little change. He, uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia shared a combined uh, league, NBSHL. In 81, he played with the Charlottetown Islanders. 82 and 83 with the Capital A Caps. 84 with the Charlottetown GGs. And then later on in his career, played with the Charlottetown Islanders yet again. Now, uh, a very, very strong uh, stat, especially with Capital A. Capital A, he had uh, uh, 3.19 and 22 starts in, uh, in 82. Now, final initial totals, 29, 33, and 0. Uh, 3.77 average, 87% save percentage with two shutouts. Now, what, two things stand out about Belanger. Belanger, very, very handsome young man, uh, a fan of uh, many of the ladies uh, in his time at Sherbrooke uh, and his time in St. Louis. And he was noted for uh, probably uh, one of the most important red fire mass in Atlanta Flames, Calgary Flames history. You can see it in the podcast. Really stood out a very beautiful uh, painting job on the mask and uh, but he had your traditional kind of George Bear uh, style of white mask too as well with uh, St. Louis, Boston and Atlanta before he decided but the, the red mask was sort of like a, a double color, it was a mixture of flames and kind of like an off white, uh, yellow, red it's quite, it was quite nice but Yves Belanger means a lot to a lot of people across North America because all the places he played, Sherbrooke, Syracuse Jacksonville, St. Louis, Denver, Providence Kansas City, uh, Atlanta, Salt Lake, Philadelphia, Boston, Binghamton, Charlottetown, and Capital A. Again, a uh, very good outreach player, good with his teammates, good in the community, and, you know, dedicated in every way. To play two decades at that level, he did. And, uh, you know, he, w he would have been a perfect backup for the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Montreal Canadiens, but they had their own backups uh, to deal with, especially Montreal with the Ruck. I think Belanger in the Montreal program would have been a good fit. I think it was a mistake uh, that uh, Montreal never gave him a look 
or even Toronto because I think Belanger could have been better than Wamsley or Denny Harrell because he was used to playing in the queue. He would have adapted to, uh, and even the Nordiques, like it's kind of a lost thing. I always wondered if he, Belanger, would have extended his career if, uh, if, uh, if Quebec, Montreal, or Toronto would have took a look at him. I think he would. He'd be great in Frankton or say Frankton and uh, Moncton of the AHL in the late 70s, early 80s. I know when he played there, uh, he was very, very popular. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the career of the great Yves Belanger. If you like what we're doing, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And again, this podcast uh, goes all, all out to the, to the fans of the St. Louis Blues because you had a lot of good goalies in the pike back in the day, but you couldn't decide on a, on a true number two. And Yves was part of that uh, mix, as we say. Thanks for listening. Bye.